well once again I am going to be doing a shadow pearl pour with the same colors I just used so you'll notice how different the painting is going to look from the original or from the just the, the straight pearl pour so 16 by 20 gallery wrap level 2 once again okay I think I'm straight all right so I'm gonna put down hmm do I do the colors first and then I think I'll do that I'm gonna put the colors down first to get a little bit more vibrant vibrancy this is phthalo turquoise mixed with Payne's gray and this is teal by golden both of them by golden TLP um, unicorn mixed with a little bit of glisten this is uh, Jasonia doo -doo -doo, bisque Jasonia fawn TLP in what is this? This is, um, oh, it's right here, duh. This is TLP in Caramel Drizzle and S'mores together. All right, how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to go across, save a little bit. Here's the fawn. So far up. So teal. Here it is. Oh, I just love unicorn. All right, I have just a tiny bit of everything left over. So I'm going to. Something that's really liquidy. Did I put too much? No. No. <laughs> I might have. I'm going to put too much water in the... in something, because it's really moving. It's not going to make too much of a difference. This is a very forgiving technique. Guys, got to try it out, man. It is really, it's so easy. And... It's got such cool results. So I put the writ dye in all of these as well. Oh, I still have that um, liquid mirror too. I think I'll leave that for the end. All right, here we go. Wow. that secret ingredient in my pearl mix will make a difference. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Then we won't put it in the next time. I think I'm just gonna leave that corner and just blow over it. And people ask, why, why do you put the root dye in? Well, the root dye creates... Oh, no, that's fine. It um, blends the colors together. Now here's my Berta. I don't know if it's gonna be enough power, but we'll try it. This is um, high fan.
<laughs> this is pretty incredible. I love it. That liquid mirror does some amazing things. I Okay, the secret ingredient is Aussie Floetrol. I've mixed half regular Floetrol and half Aussie Floetrol. And look at that unicorn. Oh, God. I love that color. It's my favorite. And, wow. Beautiful uh, contrast there. I just love what happened with this painting. And that's where I added some liquid mirror by Triart. Yeah, I'm in love with this. And see this right here? That blending, that's from the red dye. I just love that effect. You guys gotta try this technique. It is so easy and so much fun and yield some pretty good results. So before the bugs come, I'm gonna let you go. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. Hey guys, so this is the dried result. There's a tiny bit of splitting in here. Uh, it's, I don't really mind it, or I'm going to fill it in with some white. No big deal. Oh, there's the sun. Here we go. So, I've got a lot of bling bling happening here. That's the um, unicorn mixed with the glisten. And this is the delicious liquid mirror from Trier. Beautiful effects. Love it, love it, love it. So, anyhow, I just wanted to give you guys a dried result before I start on my next piece. Hope everyone's well. Be safe, create, and stay safe.